For today's video, I am going to be reviewing and also doing a wear test for the new Ilia. This is their Skin Rewind Complexion Stick. I do have two shades to kind of show you guys, and I'm gonna just give you my overall thoughts, show you the application, let you know how it feels on the skin, what kind of coverage it gives, all that stuff, and then I'll also let you know how this lasts throughout the day. I'm gonna do a whole day wear test for the time frame that I would normally wear a product for. So right now it is 11 a.m., so I'm I'm gonna probably film till like five, six, maybe a bit later and show you guys just how it wears throughout the day. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Also, if you are new here and you enjoy beauty content and if you enjoyed this video at any point in time, I would absolutely love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel, but let's go ahead and get right into the video. So I have the shades 9N and also 10C. The Skin Rewind Complexion Stick, this retails for $48. So this is definitely a pricey, foundation but this is described as looking like makeup and acting like skincare it's a weightless complexion stick that melts in and moves with you wearing seamlessly for up to 12 hours it has buildable medium coverage that instantly blurs pores redness and texture with a natural matte finish over time, potent anti-aging ingredients help firm, smooth, and soften the appearance of lines and wrinkles for healthier looking skin with every swipe. So I personally do have combination skin. Normally I do not love a matte finish type of product. So I'm curious to see how I will like this, if it will feel too dry on my skin, but let's go ahead and try it on. So again, I do have two shades to share with you guys. So I have the shades 9N and also 10C. So the 9N is going to have a neutral undertone and the 10C is going to have that cool undertone. So I'm probably going to use the shade 9N to pillow is what it's called, but then there's also the shade 10C Ash. The shade 9N to pillow is described as light with neutral undertones. And then the shade Ash 10C is light with cool undertones. It is a twist up applicator and something that I thought was interesting about it is it has this little like dent here and I'm assuming it's on purpose since both of them have this when I first opened the packaging I thought maybe this got damaged in transit but then when I saw the other one had that dent too that made me think this is probably a design choice to maybe make it easier to hold so that was something that was interesting and it looks so nice and pretty on the top of the complexion stick. It says Ilya on the top. I don't know how well you can see that. I don't know if my camera will focus on that, but it looks really nice. Also something to note about this is that it's vegan and cruelty free. It's dermatologist tested, it's non-comedogenic. It's supposed to be long wearing and it is recyclable. Some of the key ingredients in here are the ceramide peptide complex, which is supposed to help with visibly firming and strengthening the skin barrier. It also has winged kelp extract, which is a potent replenisher that restores luminosity, helping skin look more youthful. And the last highlighted ingredient in here is the butterfly lavender extract, which is a botanical powerhouse that smooths the look of fine lines and wrinkles. So for how to use this, you can use this to kind of conceal some areas. It says to use your fingers or our shadow brush to pick up product and pat into skin to blur. So if you just wanted to use this kind of like a concealing product, you could use it that way. Or it says you can use it to cover. It says swipe onto skin and blend with your fingers or our complexion brush. I do have that brush, their complexion brush that I will use for today's video for an all over evening effect. So you can kind of use it as an all over foundation if you want. And they also say that you can use this to contour. So it says to use a shade one to two shades deeper than your match to contour along cheeks, nose, and jawline. I don't have a deeper shade in order to do that, but I'm gonna use this along with my other makeup and do the wear test throughout the day. But let's get into applying this. So again, I'm gonna use this shade 10C, which looks like it's a pretty good match. I feel like it's not picking up on camera because I feel like it's just matching pretty well. I'm just gonna use this like an all over foundation gonna do a few swipes so again you can use your fingers to rub this in or you can use a brush i'm gonna try it out both ways just because normally i like to use my fingers to blend out products i don't know how well that's gonna work for a stick like product like this because it is a little bit of that like thicker kind of consistency however this does not feel thick at all it does feel very lightweight almost feels like not detectable, but it is blending out well. It's blended out super well just from patting it in with my fingers. 
Um, and again, this does say that this is supposed to give a medium or buildable medium coverage with my fingers gave more of a light coverage. I do have post acne marks, but maybe using a brush will kind of help it get a little bit more coverage. So I'm gonna use the complexion brush to kind of stipple this into my skin. I definitely feel like using the warmth, warmth of your fingers does help melt the product into your skin better than using a brush. So right now, maybe I just didn't apply enough, but I would definitely say this is more of a light coverage. So I am gonna go in with another layer, but so far this does look nice on the skin. Normally I don't love stick foundations because I find that they can just look heavy and they don't always blend out the best and they just look very detectable on your skin. But this actually blended out really well and I feel like it doesn't look like I have any heavy product on. It did blend out super well and just looks still really like my skin so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply another layer, again, still using the shade 9N, which is that light with neutral undertones. I'm just gonna apply a bit more because I do wanna build up this coverage. I think I just didn't apply enough the first time. I'm also gonna try to conceal that spot there. Okay, hopefully that's enough product this time. So um, again, I'm gonna use my fingers right here. It is very easy to blend out with your fingers and it still feels very lightweight. It doesn't feel thick or heavy, even though it is a stick product. Normally I find that stick foundations can feel kind of thick. This does not feel thick at all. It feels very lightweight. It almost feels like I'm blending in nothing. It's kind of interesting. It just kind of feels like I'm patting my skin. It doesn't feel like I'm patting in any type of thick product. It's very, very lightweight. And then I'm gonna use the brush again over here. And it definitely built up coverage this time. This one now I would say is at medium coverage, covering up my dark spots a bit there. And I also didn't wanna use a primer just because I wanted, I wanna see how this wears on its own without a primer. Okay, it's definitely looking a little bit more heavy now, just right here, because I do have like two little texture spots there. So I can see it more on that part of my face. However, that's my skin. I mean, I don't think that's a fault to the complexion stick. I think that's just what happens when you have a little bit of texture. So I'm not gonna fault it for that. But yeah, this is definitely giving a medium coverage now. Even though it says it has that matte finish, it kind of just feels like a very like natural finish. It doesn't feel like super drying, but we will see how it lasts throughout the day. We'll see if it starts to look cakey or if it starts to feel overly dry. That's what the wear test is going to be helpful for. So there it is. I think it looks really pretty with the first application of those two layers. I had that one lighter layer that I applied and then I applied a thicker layer the second time to really build up that coverage. But I definitely would say this is at a medium coverage now. And I do think that you could probably build it up even more for that buildable medium coverage. But I think it looks really nice on the skin right now. I feel like it doesn't even look like super matte. I still have like a lit from within glow type of look to my skin without it being dewy, kind of like that natural finish. It doesn't feel dry at all. It feels very lightweight. I'm actually very surprised by how lightweight this feels on the skin. It doesn't even really feel like I have a product on. It just feels very weightless and not heavy at all. So that is really nice because it does have that matte finish. It's probably gonna help with making sure that your face doesn't get overly oily throughout the day. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup. If this part doesn't interest you, you can scroll past, but I figured I would also share me doing the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna use some other Ilia products. So I'm gonna use the Ilia concealer. This is their True Skin Serum Concealer. I'm just gonna use this to kind of conceal my under eyes a bit. I feel like this color maybe is a little bit dark for concealing my under eyes right now, but this is the only shade that I have in this concealer from them. So I'm just gonna go with it. And then I am gonna set my under eyes, but I don't wanna set the rest of my face where the complexion stick is, just because I really wanna see how it's gonna last on its own. Even though maybe on a normal basis, I would set it with a powder. Actually, I probably wouldn't set this complexion stick with a powder just because it already is supposed to give that matte finish. Then I'm just gonna use the Kosas Cloud Set in the shade Breezy just to kind of set my under eyes. This is the Ilia Finishing Powder Brush. I'm just gonna take this, take a little bit under the eye. I also want to test out some of the Ilia complexion sticks. So I'm going to start off with the shade In The City. This is kind of like a luminous bronzer shade. Take a little bit on my finger. Kind of dab this. 
And then I'm just going to blend this in with the Ilia Complexion Brush. I really, really like this. It's a nice, like, small, precise brush. It's great for contour, but this just kind of gives, like, a luminosity. Wouldn't say this necessarily contours your face, but gives you a little bit of that bronziness with some glow. So And then just to make sure I blend it out really well, I'm going to use the Fit Glow Beauty brush. I really like this one for contour and bronzer sticks just because it has this really nice angle and it's a good size and it makes it really quick and easy. Normally, it's, this is the one that I go for. However, I do enjoy this when I want something a little bit more precise. Okay, and then for my brows, I actually already did use the Ilia Eyebrow Pencil. This is in the shade Dark Blonde. This is their In Full Micro Tip Brow Pencil. I have done a review for this if you're interested, but I have already applied this on my brows it works really well I feel like the shade is super similar to like a taupe eyebrow shade but then I am going to kind of lock my brows in place with the Ilia in frame brow gel this is a clear brow gel so I'm just gonna apply this and it feels really lightweight but it also does do a really good job at locking your brows in place without them feeling like crunchy and then I'm going to take the Ilia Multi Stick in the shade In The Mood and I'm going to use this for my blush shade. I'm just going to use this same brush that I used for the complexion stick. I'm just going to add a little more. And then for mascara, I'm going to use the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. I have this little mini size. I love this mascara. And then I'm going to take the multi-stick in the shade Cosmic Dancer, which is this really pretty highlighter shade. Just apply a little bit to the tops of my cheekbones. This gives a really pretty natural looking highlight. Kind of looks like you're glowing from within. Gives a little bit of that like dewy look. I'm just going to add a little bit of bronzer. So I'm going to use the Ilia Night Light Bronzing Powder in the shade Drawn In. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this and I'm taking it on my Kosas. This is the contour fan brush. I'm just gonna try to apply just a very little bit. And then lastly for the lips, I'm gonna apply the Balmy Tint Hydrating Lip Balms in the shade Hold Me. I absolutely love these lip balms. I have done a whole swatch video for these if you're interested in them and just want to see all of the shades, figure out which one you like the best, but I love the shade Hold Me. It's a perfect everyday pink color and it's super moisturizing. If you love hydrating lip balms that are tinted, then I think that you'll absolutely love this. This is so, so nice. All right, so there it is. Also, I will list all of the products that I use on my face in the description box below if you're interested in checking anything out. I am going to see how this lasts throughout the day. I'll check in every hour or couple of hours so I can update you with how the foundation is looking. So far, it is looking really, really nice. And even though they say that this is is matte. I don't feel like it looks very flat. Sometimes matte complexion sticks or foundations can look kind of like flat on the skin. I still feel like my glow is poking out. Obviously, I know I did apply those luminous products. However, where the foundation is only, it still doesn't look like flat. It still looks really pretty, kind of, I feel like more of like a natural finish. It looks really good. I like how it looks so far. So I will see you for my first check-in. Here is a close-up of what the complexion stick looks like after initial application. It has been an hour, really. It looks the exact same so far after just an hour. But here's my first check-in. My skin is really still looking the same. I feel like maybe my skin looks a little bit more dewy now. So I feel like it's not staying completely matte. However, it really just looks the exact same as when I first applied it. And again, I do have combination skin, but I think it still looks absolutely beautiful and it's gorgeous. It's definitely that medium coverage. It's not like it's undetectable on your skin. You can probably, probably tell that I'm wearing makeup, but I think it looks very pretty. It looks nice and seamless. I don't feel like it's clinging to anywhere. So I think it just looks very, very nice. It's now been almost four hours. So I'm just gonna say it's been four hours. It's been almost that amount of time. So it's still looking pretty 
pretty good. I have noticed some spots where it looks a little bit dry, nothing too crazy, nothing that like makes me not like this, but it does just look a little bit dry around here. And some areas is starting to look a little bit more obvious on the skin, I guess. Again, nothing crazy. Um, I can just see it in spots maybe that look like a little bit patchy, but nothing, nothing really that bad. I still think it looks really beautiful for that four hour mark. And of course, if I use setting spray, this is gonna last even better, but just on its own, I still think it's doing pretty well. We are now at the seven hour mark. So taking a look at my skin, it still looks really good. It doesn't look like overly heavy in areas. The foundation looks less detectable now than I feel like it did at the like three hour mark. And I think that's because you know, probably some of the product has kind of like dissipated and gone away. It looks like some of kind of the coverage has kind of faded a little bit as foundations do over time. Being that seven hour mark, it's faded a bit where some of my post acne marks are showing a little bit more now than it was like when I first applied it or at the three hour mark. However, I find it still looks really nice. Like this was where it was looking a little bit dry. I can see like a slight bit of that dryness now, but it actually looks less noticeably dry now. And then, yeah, it doesn't really look super patchy in areas, maybe like a little bit heavy on my forehead, but again, nothing too crazy. Here's a little close up. Obviously you can see that scab there. I mean, it's a kind of a raised scab, so the coverage has kind of gone away on there, but I mean, that's not surprising. It's a raised scab. Honestly, it's doing quite well. Probably eight hours is the longest I would probably wear it at a time. So I think this might be my last check-in. I think I can now give you my overall review. Obviously you could wear it for longer, it says it lasts up to 12 hours. Don't really think I'm gonna wanna wear it for 12 hours, so hopefully that's okay. Like, I feel like a lot of people might not care to wear it for 12 hours anyway. I feel like the typical would be maybe like eight to 10 hours. So hopefully this trial of seven hours is still helpful. I feel like it'll probably look similar at the eight hour mark, it's only an hour from now, so. I don't really feel like I need to do another check-in. Hopefully this is still enough to be helpful for you guys. But overall, I think this is a nice foundation. It wears well. I'd say it is long wearing and it looks nice on the skin. Even though it says it's a matte finish, I wouldn't say it's super, super matte. If you're scared of like matte foundations being like too drying, I find that this was not too drying at all. I found that it sit pretty well on my skin. If you have oily skin, maybe this would be even better for you. If you have a really dry skin, then maybe this would get more dry on you, but with my combination skin, I find that it works well and it's not overly drying. Again, just those little bits of somewhat dry looking areas. If you have oily skin, you might not even experience that. But overall, I think it is a nice foundation and I think it could be potentially worth checking out. Just depends on if you like these types of stick foundations. I do think it is a nice foundation. I'm gonna continue to use it. If you are interested in checking it out and you'd like to help support my channel, it would mean so much to me if you'd use the link in the description box below. No pressure all to do so but if you're thinking of getting it anyway it would mean so much if you would use my link because it really helps to support my channel so that i can continue creating free videos here on youtube but again no pressure but the link is just there for you if you would like i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did please let me know by giving me a thumbs up if you do have any questions about this foundation stick let me know in the comment section below i'd be happy to help answer any questions that you may have also if you're new here and you're not already subscribed i would absolutely love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel but thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you for my next video